Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Today I want to keep going on account schedules and I am actually going to show a feature which involves dimensions and analysis views. So it's it's a little bit involved, uh, it has kind of three concepts uh, boiled into one solution. Uh, I do have a video on dimensions, so if you want to check that out, uh, definitely take a look at that. And uh, on analysis views, I think I have something about that, but I'm definitely going to be diving deeper into that going forward. So uh, let me go ahead and start out here. If I go into analysis and account schedules, like I've done before, uh, I'm going to take a look at the account schedule I just created, um, which is called, uh, let me see, we had the uh, income statement for coffee mug, this one here. And uh, so over here, we actually pulled in accounts from chart of accounts. And uh, these are accounts straight from Cronus, which is the demo company that Microsoft ships uh, or NAV ships from Microsoft with. And uh, as we can see, they, they actually separated out sales of retail to sales of raw materials, etc. And within sales or retail, we have domestic EU export. Um, and then the cost, same thing, domestic EU export. So this is sort of old thinking. Uh, you don't want to create these sub accounts per se inside your chart of accounts. You want to shrink your chart of accounts, uh, have uh, fewer uh, accounts and then separate them out with tags. And so those tags are actually called um, dimensions in NAV. Uh, you can do it also with something called posting groups, but that is sort of an old way of thinking. Uh, I I prefer the dimensions when I'm when we're trying to solve this. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you uh, a solution to actually take the chart of accounts like these three accounts into one account, uh, and that is separated out with these tax, domestic, EU, and export. So I want to get rid of having three accounts in my chart of accounts, and I want to have one. And at the same time, I want to be able to report like this in my account schedule. So I want to be able to sometimes show, show it broken up, but not on my chart. So let me just go ahead, and this is sort of like a cooking show where I show you the dough already made. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, I'll go thoroughly through how that was done. So, first of all, I'm going to create a dimension that uh, has these three elements, domestic, EU, export. And I'm actually going to just call it sales channel. And if I uh, go here into dimensions, and like I told you, I have already done this. It's just for sake of time. I've created a sales channel dimension inside the dimension list. And the dimension values for that are domestic, EU, and export. So I basically created a new dimension called sales channel with three options. All right. So next, uh, if I go into my chart of accounts and take a look at that, inside of my sales of retail, I've created a new account called sales retail. And I'm skipping this subfix here because, um, or post fix, <laughs> because I don't want three accounts or my tarot accounts for this. I just want one. Um, and then I want to be specifying as I'm posting into which tag it goes. And um, so when I post, and I'm going to actually post one transaction just to show you into this account, I can tag it with dimension. So if I go to my, um, actually, journals right here, and go into my general journal, uh, edit journal, and I'm I posted some transactions on the 25th already, but I'm going to just post one here, one more. So I find that new account that I created, 
which was uh, 4450 and let's say I'm posting here domestic sales uh, and it's negative 50,000 negative credit is always good <laughs> for sales balancing account I'm just gonna put it into a receivable account I think I have uh, other receivables here or something like that let me see yep now notice that I actually now have a sales channel code that I can specify this shows up as long as you set up the dimension to be one of the eight shortcut dimensions then you can select column and show it here um, just as a quick reminder of that if I go into general ledger setup which is a setup screen in NIV there is a dimension section here and if I select that as one of the first eight actually you prefer to be one of the first four and you'll see that in minutes because the account schedules just has four visible we can expose more if you're a developer but uh, four are out of the box so I picked this as uh, dimension three and then I am able to select it as a column in the general journal all right so let me go back to the general journal right here and I'm gonna pick this since it's domestic I pick domestic now I've categorized it as domestic and then I go ahead and post yes oh, it's successfully posted now I'm gonna go into my account schedules so the idea here is I want to be able to separate it out on the account schedule maybe first take a look at this here this way I only have one account here and I got ninety five thousand dollars in here right so technically these accounts should be just going away and I just have one account ninety five thousand and I here I can't see whether it's gonna be EU or domestic or export but I like to see that on an account schedule so I'll go into uh, actually here role center analysis count schedules and I've actually created a new uh, income statement uh, where I'm separating this out and there's a little bit of a tricky thing when you when you want to use dimensions like this inside an account schedule you will have to attach an analysis view all right it's a technicality and I've created one here called coffee mug test I'm going to just go into that and show you how that's created so basically it is a, an analysis view an analysis view is a way to view dimensions in different ways like uh, you can look at dimension on the x-axis and another one on the y-axis and see the cross-section to those I'll go through that in a separate video but just a simple one that I set up is just a test here um, there's nothing different that I did I just put a starting date early enough so that it brings in all of the transactions and I set up which dimension I'm looking at and then I hit update the reason why I need this is because the system then starts tracking dimension entries um, and it has that database to, to include in the account schedule so it's a little bit of a technical thing all you have to remember is create an analysis view with the dimension that you want to report on and attach it to the account schedule that's all and make sure you hit update uh, and it's uh, yeah and you can also enable update on posting um, and I'm gonna do that right now that is actually a really good thing because then you don't have to hit update here you get updated numbers it'll just update automatically going forward so I recommend that definitely all right so I get out of here back into my account schedules so I told you it's bringing in three concepts so it gets a little bit complicated but not too much hopefully um, so I get here in I go into my edit account schedule and I've actually created this before hand so I didn't have to type it up uh, now I I am setting up uh, three different rows actually 
um, like so. So I have sales, retail, domestic, sales, retail, export, and sales, retail, EU. Remember, this is all coming from the same GL account, right? But I need to separate it out. So how do I separate it out? I show column again, and when I show column, I see the sales channel code totaling a new field here. And I can go ahead and um, specify which one it is, domestic EU export. And so I did that, laying it out. And then when I hit overview, I've actually separated out all of the uh, dimensions into an account schedule. So I could be posting into one account, just flagging it with dimension, and then separating out like this. So you can see the power of this is like you can have four or five dimensions or and they could be all separated out and you can be drilling into just the minutia on the account schedule that is that makes sense uh, for whoever you're presenting this for. So you create many different account schedules for different groups. Um, and I hope this made sense. I know it was, uh, like I said, three topics uh, thrown into one just to show the capabilities of account schedule. Uh, I'll probably add to it in the next video, but I uh, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to inecta.com.